Okay, so did I get sick? Yes. Am I responsible for getting sick or did I do anything bad that caused me to get sick? No. I applied for state benefits back in January due to clerical error, clerical error, clerical error, clerical error, followed by two more clerical errors after getting, uh, yeah, it's almost like the state's fucking it up on purpose. You know, they say they do that to avoid certain people getting benefits. Um, and then they dropped me from benefits because they said I didn't live in the state where I lived. And then they dropped me from benefits when they said, oh, well, you're not pursuing child support, which I was. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. what has happened mm -hmm. is during mm -hmm. that, since the winter, mm -hmm. my wisdom teeth that needed to be extracted um, have caused me to get very sick. Now I've proven to you that this is true. I went to the dentist, I showed you my x-rays, refer to video, proven to you that the teeth next to the wisdom teeth are getting affected by the roots getting dug up by these crooked teeth coming in. Not because I didn't take care of my teeth, but because of the wisdom teeth are coming in and I can't get them out. Now, I was assigned a state insurance for my teeth that wasn't good for extracting. Um, not all of them cover extraction. And there wasn't anybody in town that was going to accept that insurance. So I had to switch insurances, which is still a process that they apparently are still working on, but I've not heard anything about, in order to get my teeth extracted. Now what happened was during five weeks, I got sick about every other week for a week. And you can look it up, the signs of teeth infections have to do with vomiting, which I did, couldn't hold down food. I had seven days of fever, about 104, a little under, 103.6 and 7. Um, um, I mean, it was like, I had like sea legs, like I would, I was like stumbling, I couldn't even, I was like stumbling around, it was very hard to get the things that I needed to get done. And um, starve a fever, feed a cold, you're not supposed to feed a fever and nor could I because of the vomiting. So it's not my fault. And if you're like, well, she was trying to lose weight. Well, I pretty much gained it back. And I did every, every time that, that I had another week to gain the weight. It's funny because look at how much I ate. I'm almost back to the weight. So obviously that's not the goal of me infecting my own teeth through fucking a wisdom thing. Yes, I've shown you that they're growing in. You can refer to video. Okay, you're like, they're not even growing in. They are, you've known this since back at Donovan's, okay? So, state insurance wasn't covering this. Now, I had been told, because I went to a dentist when I was pregnant, that I needed to have the teeth pulled, but the problem was I was pregnant. And so, it was advised that I wait to have the baby before going under sedation, because you don't know how it could affect in utero. So, I waited. And then I moved. Do you recall that? And so my state insurance, I didn't have, um, I didn't have it because, and this, I can prove it to you that the state fucked up four times. And then my family's clause of don't give her any money left it so that I didn't have money to take out the teeth and I just kept getting sick and now you want to talk shit? And this is what really scares me because I could be a can cancer patient patient in chemo and you guys would be like fucking drug addict and it's just so disgusting that I don't really want to be part of humanity most of the time because I think about things like that and it's shit like this where I honestly think you guys can just fuck yourself and implode because the world's better off without you heartless sons of bitches.